Hi guys, it's Miss Amanda. Just wanting to thank you guys for all your support and for staying with us. Thank you for getting involved in our Zoom lessons and for commenting on all of our stuff. The great things are happening here. Gyms have both changed tremendously and we're ready for you guys to come back. So I want to show you what we're going to do. So when we come in, your parents are going to pull in and they're going to stop right here and walk to our spots. So we're going to do our social distancing at all times. If parents want to come in at this time, they can to bring their student in and then I'll show them how they exit. Otherwise, we'll be standing right here ready to go with our mask on so that we can help them go to where they need to. So they're going to be stopped at their six foot spot destination. If we happen to have more than just this, we do have it further down on each side. So if you don't have time to sit here and wait, they can wait on their spot. A teacher will be here watching, so we won't so have I'm going to show you this too. It's also posted on both of our entrances at our gyms. This applies for both gyms, not just Iowa City, but I'm going to go over it now. So if you answer yes to any of these questions that are posted, we ask that you do not come to the gym, that you stay home, and then we will also have you take your temperatures at home. If higher than 100, do not come. If you have any signs or symptoms of fever in the past 24 hours, such as chills, sweats, or you feel feverish, had a temperature that is elevated to over 100 or greater. And then also, do you have any of the following symptoms, cough, soreness of breath, or chest tightness, sore throat, nasal congestion, runny, congestion, runny nose, body aches, loss of taste or smell, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, fever, sweat, or chills. Also stay home. Then we have two more. If you have traveled internationally within the last 14 days, we would like you to stay home. If you have had any close contact within 14 days with someone who has been diagnosed with COVID-19, please stay home. Okay, so following in, we're gonna hand sanitize right here as soon as we come in. These doors will be propped open so there is no exposure to touching the same surfaces. So we're gonna hand sanitize. Teacher's standing here with the mask. And then if you are a kinder gym, you're gonna follow me this way. So once again, we have our spots. We're not gonna be closer at any point in time. And we're going to follow our arrows. So these arrows come all the way to the kinder gym room. Once we get to the kinder gym room, we're going to stop and wait for our teacher to tell, tell us where to go. Okay, so once in the kinder gym room, it's going to be a little different. We are allowed to have up to 10 people in this room and our other room, but we will not at any point in time. We will have six at the most. So when they come in, my penguins are spread out on these little benches. I have six penguins and they're each color coded. So you will go to a penguin. At this time, you'll sit down, you'll take off your shoes and whatever else you need to, put it in your backpack. And if you have your mask, you're gonna take your mask off. We do want you to wear your mask on the way into the gym. And this is the only time you will take it off. So once you're ready to go, your teacher will tell you to go to a hula hoop. Your color penguin coordinates with your color hoop. So they'll spread out. I have, I believe I have a little more than six, but that's okay. We have six hula hoops around the room and we only have stations that are spread out for six feet. So in the direction that they go, they will never come in contact. This one, they will be going this direction. This one, they will be going that direction. This one, they'll be going that direction. So they will never ever come to the same spot at the same time. Okay, one more thing Miss Amanda forgot. Once you come in, parents, if you are coming in with your children, your child will do their taking off, and then you will exit out the outside building, and you will go around to your vehicles. Both of these doors go out to the parking lot, but your child will not exit that way. You are the only one that will exit. We are now going to all of the rest of our classes. So if you're a rec class, you will be coming in and going this way. We're gonna follow our social distancing by staying on our marks. Once again, we have hand sanitizer in both of our entrances of our rooms. We have stations around each wall. We have at least room for 10, but we will have eight at the most in this room. Um, when we come into this room, they will take all of their stuff off, put it in their backpack, then take their mask off, put it on their bag, stay in their spots for their warm up. And if they have a water bottle, they need to bring it. We will not have drinking fountain or drinking fountains on. So if they have a water bottle, it has to be filled before they get here. We do not have the water on for you guys to refill it only for our use of the toilet and washing your hands. So once again, please bring your water, your water bottle filled and in your backpack. Do not carry it. 
So once we get done with our warm up, parents, if you come in, you will exit out this one. This will come out by the street, and our parking lot is up front. So parents, you will go back to your vehicles. Now we're going to go over exiting. When we come out of both our rec rooms and our kinder gym rooms, we have the same social distancing distancing spots that we will follow. We will have a lobby helper at both locations every night. They are distinctly to wash off handles, to make sure trash cans are empty, and so that keeping everybody distance while they're in the hallway. So we're going to put our stuff back on at this point. We're going to put our shoes, our jackets if it's a little chilly, our backpacks on, and our masks will go back on. When we come in and when we go out, we will have masks on, so they need to have a mask. When we go out, the lobby helper will help to see the parents pulling up, and then we will send your child out. Your child will not go stand outside and wait. We will send them as soon as we see you. One more awesome thing we're coming up with this time, we are going to put cameras that are in all of our rooms. It's okay. It is called Spot TV. You will be able to log in and watch your student during their time of class. You will not have a code to see any other time of day, so only the parents that are at that time will have that code and password. So no one can log in and watch except for you and except for your class. So it's super exciting. We're very excited to have it. You're going to be able to watch from anywhere, any device. You can sit out in the parking lot and wait and watch. You go get groceries and watch, but you can always have it on. All right, once again, thanks for watching. Thank you for joining us and thank you for supporting. We can't wait for you guys to come and see our new program for all school age, kinder gym, and our dragons. We have a whole new program. I can't wait to show it with you. Once again, Iowa Gymnasts, our nest is best.